Hey guys and welcome back to another video here with Angel B Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, so I want to start this video by thanking Yamation for sending me their DTF glitter film for me to try out as well as their powder. Um, I do have a couple, maybe like two videos on my channel where I did the, um, I used the regular DTF film and I used it with sublimation ink as well as inkjet ink. So today I do have a DTF printer now and I will be using some DTF ink along with the DTF glitter film from Yamation as well as the DTF powder from Yamation. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is a wine bag here. This is with the glitter uh, film and I know I'm kind of far away but of course we'll get into all of this and then as well as a um, cotton tote bag. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. If you want to learn how to use this glitter film with DTF ink, go ahead and stick around. Okay guys, so today's images I am going to be getting from um, Creative Fabrica. Um, now, if you don't have a Creative Fabrica account, I kind of just wanted to talk about it for a second. Um, so I currently pay $19 a month and I get access to basically their entire website. They have millions, and I mean absolute millions of different fonts that you can choose from. Um, right now, obviously, because Christmas time is coming up, they have all these Christmas fonts, um, you know, being recommended on the homepage. Um, but I literally come here when I need a font, if I need... Um, like this Grinch font. I really like this. But um, if I need a font or I need a PNG or I need um, some sublimation projects, this is super cute. Um, I'm actually going to heart that. I like that. Um, if I just need a project or some inspiration or something, I will come here on Creative Fabrica and they definitely do not disappoint, okay, when it comes to trying to find um, things to do or things to use on this website. Um, and they are having a Black Friday deal that starts on November 25th, which I believe is today. This is a pre-recorded video. So the website isn't going to show right now um, the deal I'm about to tell you about just because this is pre-recorded before the 25th. But um, the deal I'm gonna tell you about is the yearly all access subscription. Now, like I said, it is $19 a month. That's what I pay. I pay $19 a month and that is about $230 dollars for the year so right now they do have it where if you sign up between november 25th and december 2nd you pay 59 dollars for the whole year which is about four dollars and 99 cents a month but you just have to pay it up front so it's going to be a one-time payment for 59 dollars and then you get it for 12 months that is definitely a steal and um, how you would use it is you come in, you log into your account. So I'm going to go to my favorites and I'm going to show you how I download it. So typically if I were like on Etsy right now, I would have to purchase, you know, any, any of these items that I wanted to use. And you guys have seen me use this, um, particular, uh, image for my son several times. Um, this is like a, a layered vinyl. This is also a layered vinyl. This is a, um, this is a font, so you can type whatever you want and your letters are going to look like baseball bats. Um, but yeah, so this is basically, and this is like a laser cut image that I'm going to be doing with my X tool. This is also a laser cut file. It's a door hanger. They have so much stuff. They have wood projects that you can do. They have fonts. They have PNG images. They have sublimation images. They have um cut files laser files i mean they just literally have everything but the image i'm going to be using today or the two images i'm going to use today is um i already have my wine image printed out but i have to go ahead and download and print this one and i'm going to do it on um with you guys so you can see so i haven't downloaded it yet now typically i would have to pay if i was like on etsy i don't know somewhere between three to five dollars is what people normally charge but because i've already paid for it i'm just going to go ahead and press download and then as you can see it's going to download to my bar here i'm going to go ahead and open that up and then i'm just going to save that to my desktop and that's it it's mine i have it 
And now I'm gonna go to my ProRip software because I am gonna be printing off my DCF printer today. And I'm gonna go up here and add in an image. And this is the file where I just placed it. And here it is here. Super simple, right? Because I already paid for my subscription. I don't have to do anything else. Um, so now what I'm going to do, this is my image that I'm gonna print out on the glitter DTF film. Um, and with this ProRip software, you do wanna make sure that you add the second white cartridge. You do need to add that if you have it, if it doesn't already uh, populate for you and whatever program you're using. For my program, it does it. I do have to come in and push this little plus button and then my second cartridge will pop up for me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so that I can have it as big as possible. I have the A4, uh, I have the A4 Pro Color DTF printer, which is what I'm going to be printing from today. Um, that is the eight and a half by 11 size printing or eight and a half by 14, I believe is the biggest I can go. Um, okay. And that looks good there. I do have a coupon code for uh, the Pro Color printer if you're interested. I will leave it in the description box below. I have a $2, $200 off coupon code, and it's going to be in the description box for the DTF printer. Okay, so that looks good. That's how I want it to look. I'm going to go to RIP. I'm not going to touch anything because it's already set. I want to make sure the automatic print after rip is checked, which it is. And then the mirror print, because with ETF, you do have to mirror. That is also checked. And I'm going to go ahead and push confirm. This is going to go ahead and get it printed out. I'm going to go ahead and show you on my camera. It's probably going to be, uh, the next clip is probably going to be sped up. But I'm going to go ahead and get my images printed. And I will meet you guys over at my craft table. All right, guys, so I do have my image printed out here and it is printed on the um, the glitter. The glitter is kind of subtle. Let me see if I, you can see it. Oh, the camera might not pick it up. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Can you kind of see the glitter a little bit on like right here on the F? It's, it's really subtle. So this this film has a, when you touch it, it has a side that's smooth and it has a, a side that feels textured. You have to print on the textured side. That's the glitter side. The smooth side is the front. So don't print on the smooth side. But this is my print um, here. And then let me show you the film. This is the film that Yamation sent me. It is available on Amazon. I am going to have a link for it down below. It does say that it's a cold peel. It's washable. Um, so you can put this in the washing machine and, you know, all that good stuff. This is the film and this is the powder that they sent me. So I am going to be using the powder that they sent me along with their film. This is their powder here. So... I gotta get me like a little bin for this. So basically all I do is I put it in my little tray and then I just sprinkle the powder all over. And I do have my curing oven on right now. If you don't have a curing oven, you can use your heat press to cure it, that's fine too. And I'm just going to kind of go back and forth like this to make sure it's all nice and coated. Okay. And then any extra powder I have, I'm just going to tap it off. Okay. Now it is nice and coated. So I did get, um, since doing my other Yamation video, I did get an oven, a carrying oven for DTF transfers. This is my oven here. It's preheating to 100 degrees Celsius. 
it's on 93 so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there but you just open it up you put it in there with the powder side facing up and then I'm gonna turn it on and it's gonna go it's gonna cure for 200 seconds it does beep and flash and all that stuff when it's done so when that is done curing we're gonna go ahead and press this my I do have my other film printed already printed and cured this is the one for my um the wine carrier the, the wine bag so this one is already done so I'm gonna go ahead preheat my heat press and then we're gonna press both of these okay so I'm back here and my heat press is nice and warmed up we do have it at 320 degrees for 40 seconds that is what um I've been doing my DTF prints on the set the setting 320 degrees for 40 seconds this is the wine bag now this is a sublimation wine bag so you can sublimate on this too I just wanted to try out this glitter DTF film so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and light roll this really good that should be good and then this is my print here can you see on the wine glass the glitter all right so I'm gonna go ahead and just center this on there okay I'm not gonna cover it I'm just gonna go ahead push it under there it's going to do its thing for 40 seconds um, at 320. It does have to completely cool. So when this is done, I'm going to come back and we will press our bag as well. All right, so this is finished here. So what I like to do when it first comes out is I like to take a shirt and just kind of make sure that print is nice and pushed down to my blank. Now, like I said, it does have to completely cool before we peel it. So I'm just going to make sure it's nice and pushed down. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this out the way to cool off. And then we're going to do our tote bag. This is just a 100% um, cotton tote bag I got from Hobby Lobby. Same thing. I'm going to go ahead and lint roll it really good. I'm going to do a pre-press on this just because it does have like a lot of wrinkles in it. roll this really good I think this is like two or three bucks at Hobby Lobby okay and then I'm gonna do a quick like 10 second pre-press just to get some of those wrinkles out and this is our print okay so now I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take this and line it up. Oh, that's going to be so cute. I'm just going to line it up. I'm not going to cover it. You see that color already? That looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead. Same thing. Press this at 320 degrees for 40 seconds. By the time this is done, hopefully our wine bag is cooled off. So when they're both completely, completely cooled, I'm going to come back and we will peel the film off. Okay, so our bag is done pressing and our wine bag is uh, it's still not cold 100%. I thought it was. Sorry if you can hear my printer in the background. It's um, I'm doing a print head cleaning on my F-170. Okay. That feels to be about pretty cool. And now we do have to do, we have to peel this and do our second press. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to peel this in a downward motion. Okay, there's our print. The whole print did come off. That looks super, super cute. Can you see the glitter? 
I'll get in some better lighting after I do the second press. <clears throat> but I do have to go ahead and do my second press. So I'm just going to cover it with some Teflon. And I'm only going to press it for about 10 seconds. Which is really just going to go ahead and solidify that um, transfer to the, the wine bag. So that we don't have any issues with lifting. And then we get a true color and all that goodness. This Teflon sheet always sticks to the top of my press. All right. That looks super, super cute. Hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see the glitter. that's on the transfer like the wine glass and the letters it's all glittery super cute <clears throat> okay and now our tote bag here we do have to go ahead and press and peel this as, I'm, I'm sorry peel and then press this one as well so same thing just gonna peel actually i don't think this one's ready yet <clears throat> no this one isn't completely cooled yet it's not coming off so I'm going to give this a couple more minutes to completely cool. We'll come back, peel it, and do our second press on it. All right, so we have our film printed here. I'm sorry, the film peeled off. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and give it a second, 15-second um, press, 10 or 15 seconds. Again, that's just going to solidify the transfer to the bag for us. If you have not already join my facebook group please do so i will have a link listed down below as well as follow me on instagram and tiktok all of those links will be down below links to all of my products that i've used in this video as well as any coupon codes that i have will be down below as well i do have a 15 percent off coupon code for the yamation um dtf film the glitter film as well as the powder and the codes for that will be in my description box but here it is can you guys see the glitter I don't know if the glitter is coming through on the camera if it's picking it up but that is super super cute the colors this is a hundred percent cotton tote bag and that color is absolutely beautiful and then let me just show you the wine bag again um and this is a pretty decent size wine bottle and it fits in there i do believe i got these from etsy i'll try to remember to link the wine bag down below it was either etsy or amazon i can't remember might have been amazon but isn't that super cute and you can gift this for you know the holidays super cute All right, guys, but that is all I have for this video today. Again, I will leave everything linked down below. Um, the printer with the coupon code, the Creative Fabrica link, the Yamation DTF film and powder links, as well as the coupon codes. Everything will be linked down below for you guys to check out. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Uh, that is all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.